If you clicked on these videos because you don't want to waste one hour of your life watching a Next.js 15 videos about many features that you don't really use and you just want to know like actually what features does matter to you and that's what I'm going to do in this video in under five minutes I'm going to try to show you the most important new features about Next.js 15 that does matter to most of us and if you don't know I'm Amin I left Canada when I was 17 and now I'm living in Asia doing coding as a living and I help aspiring developers do the same so if you're interested in that you can subscribe to the channel and we're ready to start let's go the main feature about Next.js 15 is Turbo Pack Dev. So if you use Next.js, you know that in localhost it's really slow. Sometimes you want to open a page and you have to wait like 10, 15, or sometimes even for a big project like 30 seconds. It's really bad. And now it's really fast. So for example, a page that you should open in 30 seconds, now it's like five seconds. So it's really good, but you have to bear in mind it's only in their environment. It's not in production yet because it's not ready for production. And the second one, I would say like the most uh, nice feature after Turbo Pack is about caching. Because if you use Next.js, sometimes you have like some weird bugs. You have like, for example, a product page and you want to make a new product. And you, you try to reload the product page, but you don't see the new one. It's because it's cached and you have to put like the, a dynamic page. And even if you do that, it's not working. And you have to go to the API page and try to. So it was a mess. And now it's really easy. It's just your app is not cached by default. So if you want to have uh, and to, to cache your, uh, your app, you just do it for the pages that you want to cache and you do it yourself. So it's just better. You avoid a lot of weird bugs that your data doesn't reload and you don't get the new data. And it was a really good uh, feature they, uh, they added. So that's for caching. Next one is about hydration error. So uh, before it was really bad, like just to, to try to debug your app. No information at all. You have to just find in your in your app and try to uh, to fix it yourself. But now it's a lot easier. So you have more details and you know exactly from where the problem comes and you can fix it a lot faster. So you're gonna save a lot of times. Third one, the fourth one actually is React 19. So that's really good because now you have the new features about uh, React 19. But another thing I want to to mention is about Pages Router. So as you can see, they have the they um, updated uh, some stuff for Pages Router on the next uh, JS15 version. So that tells us that Pages Router is still usable, it's not deprecated. You can even make new apps using Pages Router. You're not obliged to use App Router, Pages Router are not deprecated, you can still use them. And you just have to think, Are you do you want to use App Router or Pages Router? But Pages Router is still uh, maintained, it's not deprecated. So that's a cool one. Too. And the last one I want to mention is just about the, the security. So they made a fix because there is a big drama about use service uh, action security. So if you had like an environment variable uh, in, a, in a function, uh, like a hacker could try to get or uh, uh, try to read your environment variable. So it was really bad, but now they fixed it. So just your environment variable, if you use it in a function, uh, it's going to be just encrypted in the client side so that's that's really nice and it's more secure so that's the main feature guys turbo back dev so now it's faster to run your app in localhost caching so you don't have weird bugs where your data doesn't reload high recent error so it's faster to debug your app react 19 and security so that's pretty much the main features you you, you need to know and so guys and if you want to go like more in depth you can uh see there is a lot of more changes but i'm gonna i'm not gonna do that in this video the goal is just to keep keep it short and just go to the fundamentals and the m main important features and if you want to go more in details i'm gonna put the docs of uh, next.js 15 in the description or you can just go to yourself and uh, read them or just watch another video about uh, a guy is gonna explain to you the main features in one hour and just go into details but that's not the main uh, objective of the video so yeah guys if you like the video you can put a like comment subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next one.